Want to learn how to customize your Twitch channel? Follow the steps in this video and by the end you'll have a professional looking profile. Let's dive in. What's going on? It's your boy Santana with Lines Among Sheep and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your stream and personal brand, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. So the first thing you want to do is get logged into your Twitch account. Once you're logged in at the top right hand side, select that icon, come down to create a dashboard. On the left hand side, you're going to see preferences, select channel, and then it's going to bring you to your stream key and preferences. This is where you'll be able to find your stream key and the things you want to have enabled in this section is going to be disconnect protection you want to have that enabled store price broadcast you want to have that checked as well and then enable clicks and low latency now if you want to go ahead and enable mature content this is in case your uh, stream contains things that may be inappropriate for a younger audience so you decide if you want to have enabled but these are the core things you want to have selected next you want to add a profile picture now this is very important that you don't add a logo in here you want to add a picture of yourself that looks like you're smiling that looks like you're happy to be able to give your viewers the idea of what kind of personality you have so take some time right now to upload your best picture and utilize a picture that you utilize across all social media so that way it's more recognizable so the next thing you want to focus on is your profile banner now you want to make sure that you don't skip this because this is very important for the growth of your channel so there's three key elements you always want to include in your profile banner you want to include your gaming logo your schedule and the games that you play their select games that you're playing when you stream these are going to be the key things that your viewers are going to want to know to decide whether or not they want to follow your stream and tune in so one of the best ways that you can go ahead and get this banner designed is by going to placeit.net and i'll put a link in the description below but place it has starting to become my go-to tool when it comes to design not only do i use it for my social media for my youtube but also for my stream and they have a section dedicated directly for gaming so for only $14 a month you get access to unlimited designs so when you come here to the twitch banners you can select any template that you see here and you'll be able to go ahead and customize it real easy so let me show you what I mean so on the left hand side you're gonna see the option to be able to update any text that you may want so I can go in here and put last curry my name and then if I want to change this image and put my logo I can either utilize any image that they have here if I didn't have a logo so I can use custom image select my logo and it's instantly going to go ahead and drop it in there for me and then if I want to change any of the colors listed here I can go ahead and do so and update this to white if I think it's going to look better and then once I'm solidified on the design that I want I simply just click download and once I download it I can literally come back to Twitch and upload it as your custom image and you simply didn't have to worry about being creative the templates are already made for you and you literally have access to unlimited design so if you still need a logo if you still need overlays you can utilize place it for that for the same $14 you're paying a month so the next thing you want to focus on is your profile settings. So the username is going to be the username you created, which is this is typically your gamer tag or your streamer name. And then here's where you want to display your name. Now, typically your name is going to be lowercase, but this is where you're able to put the capitalization where you want it to be. So make sure you correct that so that way it looks nice and clean for your viewers. And then here's where you want to have your bio. Now, in your bio, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself. Say one or two things that mean a lot to you to be able to build a report with your viewers and tell your viewers what to expect and then give them a call to action like follow my stream to know when I go live so understand you only have 300 characters so make it short make it to the point but let people know what you're about and what to expect now before we move forward if you're interested in having me review your twitch channel share this video on social media and then comment below with your twitch channel and I'll do my best to give you feedback now the next thing you want to focus on is your profile color so simply select the color that fits your brand so that way everything on your channel is consistent the next thing we want to focus on is your offline banner now there's two key elements you want to include you want to include your schedule so your viewers know when you're going live and you want to tell them to follow so they be notified when you do go live so remember those two things are very important and you can design the rest of it how you see fit now if you secured a place it account you'll see that they have an offline banner and they have an endless amount of templates that you can customize the same way you customize your profile banner now if you wanted a free tool you can utilize canva and you can come here and type in custom dimensions and type in 900 
by 480 and that's going to give you the dimensions for a twitch banner and then you simply can come in here and customize this to your liking utilize any text elements any photos and things of that sort to be able to customize your banner for free or just utilize the templates that are already here on place it once you have your banner come here and upload it and now you're good to go and ready to move on to the next step next you want to focus on your social links so you only want to add accounts that you're active on and you want to make sure that you add these because you don't only want to grow your twitch channel but you also want to grow your other social platforms as well now the first line it's only is the only thing that your viewers are going to see so instead of just putting facebook twitter instagram by itself you want to make it like a title so that way people are enticed to click it like i could have put facebook here but instead i put facebook group streamer marketing secrets because if you're a streamer and you want to learn marketing secrets this is the group you want to be a part of so i'm giving them a reason to come over and click and if you focus on that and utilize these as titles you're going to see more viewers clicking over to these platforms and following you on other socials so that way you continue to grow so make sure you fill that out with the accounts that you're active on so next we want to focus on your stream schedule now if you don't have a stream schedule i really recommend you work on getting one but otherwise you can move on to the next step now if you do have a schedule you want to make sure that you don't skip this so what you simply want to do is you want to click add stream and you literally can put the start time of when your stream starts and then let's say for example you're going to stream for four hours twitch will already calculate when that stream will end you select the day that you want the stream to happen and then it's very important that you put the game that you're going to be playing maybe you may not know the game that you're going to play but that's okay so say for example i'm going to play nba 2k and then you can literally use a stream title here now this is going to be very important let's say for example on certain days you stream with your friends but on certain days you play with the viewers so this is going to let streamers know that hey maybe on mondays is when you play with viewers so you can literally go ahead and type in something like running with followers can we go undefeated and then you simply just save that and it's going to create a little card just like this showcasing your schedule that's going to appear on your profile and then you simply just do the same thing for every single day if you can't add a title just having your schedule times is more than enough just make sure that you include this that way you're always telling your viewers what to expect so one thing you want to focus on here if you don't want your offline banner to show when you're offline and instead you want your past stream to show on their auto hosting you want to make sure you select host pre-recorded videos and that's going to show your past stream to viewers that come to your channel when you're offline so next we want to customize your panel so click on your profile icon select channel and then once your channel loads you want to select about and then edit panels and then here you'll be able to select this plus sign you want to select add text or image let's say we're going to add a donation panel you can add your about your schedule your equipment your affiliate links anything of that sort you can add these panels here let's say this is going to go to www.paypal.com and then here i'm going to paste my description donations are not required but they do help support the stream and then you simply want to add the image of your panel so if you went ahead and got a place it account you can see they have twitch panels panels here already made for you and you can customize them the way you see fit otherwise you can use canva select create design custom dimensions 320 by 160 create design then you're able to customize this as you see fit then you can come back to twitch and select add image you can go to the one that you downloaded this is the one i made on place it and you can literally hit save submit and now simply all you have to do is is uncheck edit panel and you'll see here that your panel will be listed now you can do this for all your other panels panels as well and if you guys are looking to learn more about the panel extensions go ahead and put a comment in the video below and I'll make a dedicated video showing you guys the best extensions you should use on your profile so go ahead and spend some time creating your panels the panels that you must have on your stream are going to be your about your schedule your social media your chat rules and your donation and you can take a look at other twitch accounts to get some inspiration on what other panels you can include as well if you're just getting started on twitch and you're a new streamer watch this this video where I show you guys the five biggest mistakes that new streamers make and how to avoid them. And to learn more about growing your stream and personal brand, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in the next video. You know the motto, hustle, live.